Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, wrote a petition to the Department of State Services asking them to quiz the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nnamdi Kano, over a number of issues. Sahara reporters learned that the AGS petition to the DSS centered on Kano's series of brokers from Radio Biafra concerning Nigeria and the score for secession. Sahara reporters gathered that when the DSS officials on Tuesday decided to quiz Kano, the IPOB leader insisted he wanted to see a copy of Malami's petition. The DSS interviewer said they were, they, investi they were investigating him for a petition submitted to them by the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami. The petition is about Kano's several broadcasts. Kano insisted on seeing a copy of the petition and an opportunity to review the broadcast in question, a top source reviewed. Sahara reporters had on Tuesday reported how Kano revealed to his lawyers that the Kenya operatives chained him to the floor for six days, not knowing who he was, until the news about him began to flitter in. Sahara reporters had been told that Kano, by the time he suffered injuries in his neck and his wrists. It was also reported that Kano, for the first time, was interviewed on Tuesday by the Department of State Services officials in Abuja in the presence of his lawyers, led by Barrister Ifani Ijefo. It was during the interview that the revelations of what happened to Kano in Kenya came out. Sahara reporters had on June 29th reported that Malami listed out the allegations against the IPOB leader, saying he must continue his court trial in nearest. The IG had said the self acclaimed leader of the proscribed secessionist IPOB, Namdi Kano, has been arrested through the collaborative efforts of Nigerian Intelligence and Security Service. He has been brought back to Nigeria in order to continue facing trial after disappearing while on bail regarding 11 court charge against him. Recent steps, recent steps taken by the federal government saw to the interception of the fugitive Kano on Sunday, the 27th day of June 2021. Kano Ngozi okay, Nwa Nkenye Namde Ngozi Chuku Okwa Kano, born 25th day of December 1967 at Afuraku Abia State in a holder of Nigerian passport number A051368227 first issued 7th October 2013 at Festac Lagos. It is recorded that Kano was arrested on the 14th October 2015 on 11th count uh, charge bordering on treason, treasonable felony and terrorism managing an unlawful society, publication of defamatory matter, illegal possession of firearms, and improper importation of goods, among others. A judge at the, high, at the Federal High Court, Abuja, revoked Kano's bay that was granted him on health grant and issued a bench warrant for his arrest on the same date over his failure to appear in court for hearing. He has, upon jumping bay, been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcasts against Nigeria and Nigerian states and institutions. Kano was also accused of instigating violence, especially in the southeastern Nigeria, that resulted in the loss of lives and property of civilians, military, paramilitary police forces, and destruction of civil institutions and symbols of authorities. Sahara reporters had earlier reported that Kano was arrested and brought to the Federal High Court, Abuja, by heavy security operatives. Kano was blindfolded and sneaked into the courtroom by DSS operatives in handcuffs while his legs were also chained. He was hurriedly taken to court to where the presiding 
judge told the prese prosecution lawyer Shahib Labara to inform the defense counsel of the new date for the continuation of the trial. Justice Matutala Wanyako has joined the matter to July 26, 2021. Everyone knows this is not a trial. They have already decided on the verdict. The only thing hindering a straight sentencing is that they haven't sure of the fallouts it will have for their beloved Nigeria. Nam the Kano is a good man. Nigerian hates any person or person that comes open to talk about their wicked acts against humanity or talk about evil going in on the country. Though the world should stand and fight for Nam the Kano is a good man. Considering this matter of rearrest, Kano can never get a fair trial after Nigerian government spent huge sum to get him. This is why the world should oppose his trial. Nigerians should follow due process to get him, allowing Nigeria to go scot free in the abduction and the illegal departation uh, of Nnamdi Kano shall set a bad precedent. precedent. We won't take it. This is a big slap on the international human rights law.